find the value for a in the following. We have a sigma, there is an infinity on top of the sigma, and the equation of our sigma is a over 4r. Now, one thing that you need to always know is that this whole thing is the sum, right? This whole thing over here, we call it the sum. Now, this equals to sign is the evaluation of our sigma. So, this whole sigma gives me 16. Now, since we are trying to find the sum, not just any sum, the sum of infinity, we understand that S infinity is equal to 16. That's what this tells me. Okay? Now, if you're finding sum of infinity, the formula for to get sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. We need to figure out what A is. We need to figure out what R is so that we can get our values for sum to infinity. Now, to determine A and R, we do that by getting our first three terms. And how we get our first three terms is substituting, right? We would have to break down this, our sigma notation, by substituting R. You see this R over here? Substituting into the equation. So I'm putting R as 0, R as 1, and R as 2, right? So I'm saying A, which as you know, this is A, A, this, which is just A over 4. And we have A, this. So we just got three terms. Yeah. So from here, we understand that our A is equals to A because that's our first term. And to get our R, we divide our second term divided by first term, our third term divided by our second term. And the answer you get when you do the simplification will just be 1 over 4. So all we just now need to do is substitute this into the sum to infinity formula. Now, sum to infinity is 16. And this here is equals to a is a over, we have 1 minus 1 over 4, okay? So simplifying this a bit, this here will give you 16 times 3 over 4 is equals to a. So therefore, a is equals to 12. Yeah. Did you want us to just get a? Yeah, there we go. So the answer that we have here is a is equals to 12. That's all we needed to do. And that is it.